The Chateau du Bouy is located near Bordeaux. It consists of a set of buildings including a pavilion of honor and outbuildings arranged in a semicircle from the 18th century. The architect of the chateau is Victor Louis, who worked there from late 1786 to August 1789. The chateau has been the subject of a classification as a monument since March 1943. The chateau was custom made for France's last king and has been largely unchanged since the country's revolution, down to dusty couches and cobweb draperies. With roots dating back to the Middle Ages, it has been the guardian of Marie Antoinette's court's most sensitive secrets. The main building has not been lived in for nearly a century. The most remarkable aspect of the chateau is that it comprises several large buildings. It feels like a true Versailles, a complex of structures and follies that date back thousands of years in certain cases. There are 30 bedrooms, multiple grand salons, a library, vaulted ceilings, and a vineyard, as well as a neo-Gothic chapel, a water tower, and seven hectares of caves for hiding your valuables or wine. The total area of the property is 700,000 square meters. To put that in context, the typical studio flat in Paris is roughly 35 square meters. The noble house was owned by its first family since the 1300s and eventually, ownership shifted to another aristocratic family in the 17th century, one that was also in extremely high standing. It is believed that the current family cannot afford to run and maintain the chateau. The chateau has a keep, which is all that is left of the medieval part of the chateau. The exquisite crescent-shaped chateau you see today was primarily built in the 18th century, and it all began with a single comment. Jean Frederick requested his friend King Louis XVI to visit him in the south of France one day. But there's no chateau to welcome me, he exclaimed of his friend's modest house at the time. So Jean Frederick began devising a strategy. Everything was going swimmingly for the neoclassical chateau until the revolution began. In truth, there was supposed to be another house to bookend the Demi Moon Gallery. But construction was halted during Marie Antoinette's trial when Jean Frederick was detained as a suspect for helping the king. Unfortunately, it cost him his life in 1794. Jean Frederick is just one of many characters in the tale of the castle, which was partially designated as a historic monument and functioned as a museum from the 1940s until 2014. The chateau boasts legends of Versailles' infamous mistress, Duchess du Berry, who hid there for a time and even has a chamber named after her. Aside from the mistresses of the king, the chateau has served as the setting for several films, including Cosine Betty in 1996, Monsieur Léon in 2006, and La Maison de Richeville in 2010, and has welcomed stars such as Jessica Lange and Hugh Laurie to its halls. The chateau was sold in 1835 to a sharp politician and governor of the tropical French commune island Réunion, Louis-Henri Hubert de Lisle. 
Today, it's the same family. In February 2020 reports state that the Chateau attracted the attention of entrepreneur Philippe Cousinier, a specialist in the conversion of historic sites. The idea was to renovate the Chateau and extend it to make it an ambitious hotel and tourist complex offering no less than 150 top-of-the-range suites, three restaurants, shops and sports areas. In August 2022 the property sale listing was updated. It was for sale at €5,250,000. It is believed that it was previously listed for over €7 million. Euros. We are yet to find out what has happened to this chateau.